Hi, welcome to this month's issue of the Home Cooking Newsletter. My name is Dan Oaks, and this is my lovely wife, Kathy. Hi. And she's going to show us how to make some kind of... Uh, what are you making today? I'm making baked beans. Not baked baked beans. Because <laughs> then you don't have to heat up the whole house. Because it's summer, it's hot, the air oh, conditioner is yeah. running nonstop. We're having 40 people over. Right, yeah, <laughs> seriously. Barbecue. That's the last thing you want to do is get that oven fired up or whatever for... So beans are not only a staple for a barbecue, but they're also a great economical way to feed a bunch of people. Cause, oh, so we're going to make a big pot of They're nutritious beans. too. Sometimes I crave them. I crave beans because I think they got protein or something in them, but my body like wants it. So. Lots of fiber. Fiber? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, lots of fiber. <laughs> I think they're healthy for you. Anyways, yeah, man. <laughs> I like you right into your magical fruit joke and you didn't take it. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> really? Plus they're magical. <laughs> The more you eat. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to do three 28-ounce cans, these big cans. Uh, why don't you open those for me while I'm starting the onion? You got it. This will pre feed between 20 and 30 people, depending on how many side dishes you have that day or how hungry everyone is, but probably between 20 and 30 is a good estimate. So we're going to take one onion. Now, here's the funny thing about these. I have never ever measured my baked beans before and it's a perfect recipe for that because it's a very forgiving recipe. They are very forgiving. So we're just going to splash kinda some like olive your oil. Husband. I will Kind of like your husband. <laughs> you don't need to be forgiving. <laughs> I mean kind of like my because... wife. <laughs> kind of like my wife. That's what I <laughs> <laughs> so a couple tablespoons of olive oil just to um, saute the onion with. I'm going to get this going just until the onion's a little clear. Now I so, also... So that's kind of an interesting pot there. I mean, what, what, what do you recommend for people to cook this in if they don't have something like that? What is that anyways? What do you call that? Is that like a stone? This is a, a Dutch oven. It's just kind of a nice one, mm, and I okay. love it so oh, much. Okay. So, it's so you can do a Dutch oven. You can even do these in a frying pan, though. When I wasn't doing so much in my earlier days, mm -hmm. I would do them in a frying pan. So they, they work anything. I like the heavier pan just because you're going to let them cook all day. Earlier just days. Simmer. Our, fa our family has grown so big now um, with all the nieces and nephews and their wives knowing their Yeah, we, I would probably do twice this if the whole family was doing <laughs> <laughs> But we've just got Andy and Josh here, our camera crew, and our family, so. This ought to do us. It ought to, it ought to carry us over three cans of this. So. <laughs> now, um, here's one of the key ingredients, and then you can do, it's a little loud, so I'm gonna turn it down just a little bit. I don't know if you, can you hear me? So, uh, bacon. I love bacon in my baked beans. So you can get bacon, these real bacon bits. I like real bacon. Or you can just fry up bacon and crumble it in there, however you want. When I'm using, I do it both ways. So when I'm using bacon bits, I just I've add it. I've heard it, it both ways. <laughs> I've heard it both ways. So I add it to the onion and just let it get a little crispy in there. I probably do 10 strips of bacon for this amount of beans. Mm. But like I say, this recipe is so forgiving. I'll give you amounts, but you can kind of play with them and make it your own. And what you do and do not like. Okay, we see, see we've got the onions getting a little translucent, so go ahead and dump those beans in. Okay. I know, doesn't it though? Holy cow, it smells so yummy. Yum. This has got to be the bacon. And the onion. Oh, the onion, yeah, <laughs> too, together, yeah. Those two together, mm-mm-mm. Mmm, bacon. Okay, uh, mustard. This is going to be a couple tablespoons of mustard. It's going to give it just a little bit of a kick. And Worcestershire sauce. That's a good one. It also gives it a little bit of a kick. How's that pronounced exactly? Worcestershire. Is it? Worcestershire. I probably put a couple tablespoons of Worcestershire too in there. So. <clears throat> So once you've done this, do you like taste it and then go, uh, you know, I think it needs a little more mustard or something like that? You know, like I say, I, they, they, I don't think you can mess them up. I probably <laughs> do them different every time and they're, they're good every time. They're just good. It's a very forgiving recipe. And then I would say a quarter cup of ketchup and probably the same of barbecue sauce. 
You make it look so easy, sweetie. Just natural. Just, just this a, is going to be one of your easiest side dishes for a barbecue, and it really it adds some depth to the meal, and it's um, it's going to be a good one. Easy yeah, side. if I'm doing a barbecue, this is another good thing about this is I can start this way early because I like to let it cook for three or four hours. I like to let it just mm. simmer because that's when it gets good. That's when it gets the baked effect. Now we're going to do brown sugar. Now I'm from the South and we like our baked beans sweet. So I'm gonna say at least a half cup of brown sugar I put in. <coughs> Oops, sorry. My brown sugar is a little lumpy so I'm breaking it up a little bit. Get that brown. Do the brown sugar well sugar. Thank you. And voila. <laughs> you bring, I'm going to bring this to a boil, get it all nice and cooked, and then I'm going to turn this down to one or two or simmer or low, very low on your mm. um, cooktop and just let it cook all day. Stir it like once an hour, seriously. Mm. And then I find that when I do my baked beans on the stove, if I have stovetop room, my whole house doesn't cook all day because if you're cooking them in the oven, you cook them for a couple hours, your house is a melting pot. Mm. So I just leave them on the stove top on very low and my house doesn't heat up and they are fantastic. And if you open up a bag of like Lay's potato chips, the Ruffles ones, and then... They'll be gone. <laughs> <laughs> As we're helping clean the house and get ready for the guests or whatever, a little dip does a lot to motivate the, the crew. In fact, it's almost to where we can't have baked beans without potato chips now. No, it's... seriously. No, seriously. <laughs> Not the healthiest addition. So definitely. But there add it that is. In. So we don't even have to keep stirring it all the time. You can just kind of. Well, so we're done. Huh? I mean, we're going to stir it until it gets to a boil. I don't know why I'm. Here we go. I put, turned up the wrong one. You don't know if you can tell us. <laughs> <laughs> once it gets going on a boil, I am going to stir it quite often until it gets boiling. And then once it gets boiling, I'm going to turn it down and just let it go. Well, that's awesome. So thank you for showing us this recipe, sweetie. This is great. It's too soon to taste it, right? To get any kind of, I mean, it's going to taste better after it simmers. Uh, yeah, it'll taste much better. It'll get that baked bean look. It'll thicken up and get that shiny. It'll be really good. Hey, you, um, taste it, you can taste it whenever you want. They're all cooked. And, oh, yeah. Oh, so you know, great baked yeah. beans are baked beans. I want to uh, go get the potato chips right now. So anyways, <laughs> well, listen. Thank you for joining us. We hope you have a fantastic <laughs> summer and uh, hope you enjoyed this recipe too. Thanks for sharing it yeah, with us. Yeah, have lots of great barbecues.